Greetings, Zombie here, coming at you with a new technology video. My mid-2012 MacBook Pro laptop has been an awesome computer for me. It's the computer that I record all of my gameplay videos and do all of the editing on the Final Cut Pro software. It's always been reliable and I've never had a problem with it, and I've never felt the need to upgrade to one of the more recent models. When I first purchased the laptop in 2012, it came installed with 4 gigabytes of RAM. In around 2015, I upgraded that to 8 gigs of RAM. And ever since Apple recently upgraded the Final Cut Pro software to the 10.3, it's kind of been giving me some problems. I've noticed quite a bit of lag while I'm editing, and so I wanted to upgrade the RAM further but I always thought that the 8 gig was the max in this type of laptop because it always said 8 gig is the maximum memory supported. Turns out, after a little bit of research, you can in fact install 16 gig of RAM in this particular model. So, that's what we're doing today. You'll notice there are 10 screws on the back of the laptop itself. As you can see, it is the 16 gigabyte kit two 8 gig sticks made by Crucial. I have the laptop resting on a soft towel. I always take very good care of my products. And so be sure, if you are the same way, to lay down something soft to protect that aluminum cover. You don't want that getting scratched up. Use a fine precision screwdriver to get in. These are some pretty tiny screws. And please be careful, there are 10 screws in total and seven of the screws are little screws, and there are three bigger screws. So just be sure to remember which is which and where the big screws come from. Now that all the screws are removed, we can just easy peasy take the back cover off. It's easier if you kind of just grab it back by the rear fan area and kind of just lift up the plate. Once again, being very careful because it's just a thin piece of aluminum. And there you have it. Be sure to ground yourself of all electrical charges before getting into the computer. It's especially important once you are in the internal area, such as this. As you can see, I've already got my two 4 gig sticks of Crucial RAM installed for an 8 gig total. But before I begin, I'm going to grab a can of canned air just to blow off any dust that might be accumulating over the years of usage. It's always good to keep all the insides operating at their top performance and especially the fan. Make sure you shut the computer down before you open it. Of course that goes without saying. And the RAM is really easy to pop out. It's kind of hard to catch it on camera, but there are two plastic tabs, one on the right, one on the left, and you just push those away from the RAM, and it will the RAM itself will kind of pop up as if it's spring-loaded. And it's a stacked method, so you move the top one first, then the bottom. It just pulls right out. You can hang on to that for future use or whichever you'd like to do with it. You can throw it away. Why not? I always hang on to it just in case. So I've got my new dual 8 gig sticks for a 16 gig total all ready to go. Goes in the same way. You're going to start with the bottom first. You just kind of have to play around with it. It's easier if you kind of gently rock it in rather than doing like this full force push. With it being a laptop, space is of course limited. So just take your time and be careful. You don't want to force anything. And then it just pushes right down and it will click into place. So you can grab the second stick, which is always a little bit easier to install. Same thing, you just want to get the contacts pushed in and Press down into place and it will lock in. So everything's looking good. You can put the lid back in and 
Of course, as mentioned earlier, remember where the three longer screws come from. On this particular model, the longer screws go into the bottom left three slots by the hinge. The seven smaller screws will go into the remaining slots. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. You don't want to damage the casing or any of the components within. Everything's put in place, we're good to go. If you go into the About This Mac on your system screen, you can see that it will show you what type of memory you have installed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful to you. It certainly helped me out knowing that I could put 16 gig of RAM in. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in another video.